In this video, I will show how to use the seamless VPN feature, introduced in R81.20, to create a VPN connection, between a checkpoint gateway, and a VPN gateway, in Azure Virtual WAN Hub. In the network diagram, we have a checkpoint on-premises gateway, version R81.20, with an active VPN blade. Behind this gateway we have network 192, 168, 2, 0. We also have a virtual WAN, with a virtual hub, in North Central US. Inside this virtual hub, there are two checkpoint NVA gateways. All the gateways, are managed by a checkpoint R81, 20, management server. Two Azure, virtual networks are connected to the hub. We will want, the traffic that passes through the internet, between the on-premises office network, and the Azure virtual networks will be encrypted. We will do that, by deploying a native VPN gateway, in Azure Hub, and create a VPN connection, between the VPN gateway, and the on-premises checkpoint gateway. I will start with the checkpoint gateway. I will connect to the gateway over SSH, and I will configure a router ID. Any IP address, that is not in use and not part of the existing subnets will be OK. I will also set BGP Private AS. I'm done with the checkpoint gateway side, now I will switch to Azure console, and I will create the VPN gateway. I will also set BGP Private AS. This process will take around 20 minutes. Now we'll create a VPN site. Once the site is ready I will create the VPN connection. You will only need to put in a random pre-shared key, and you can move forward. Now I will switch to Smart Console, if you don't have an Azure Data Center object, create one. I have already created an Azure Data Center object. Right click on the Azure Data Center object, click Import, and select the Azure VPN Gateway. Once the Azure VPN Gateway has been imported, you can move forward and create a new VPN mesh community. Add the new mesh community, add the local on-premises gateway, and the Azure gateway. Once you click OK, the management, will fetch the VPN connection settings, from your Azure tenant. Wait for this process to end, and install the policy.
After successfully installing the policy, you will see another process that sets the VPN configuration on the policy target. Once this process has ended, connect to the on-premises gateway over SSH and check that the new tunnels are up. Check that the connection with the remote BGP was established. Now I will check what routing advertising I'm getting from the BGP peers. You can see that the gateway learned the remote virtual network subnets. I will check what subnets are being advertised from my local gateway to the remote BGP peers. You will see that the gateway does not advertise anything. I will use the clish command set route redistribute to advertise network 192 168 2 0. And now I see that the local subnet has been advertised. Let's check that I can send traffic from the office network to the remote virtual network. I will see in the logs that the traffic is encrypted. Thank you for watching.